Hey guys, I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use an application called Wi-Fi Kill and it's for your Android device, however it is not available for download in the Google Play Store. You'll have to download it from a independent website which I will include a link in the description for. So once you have downloaded and installed Wi-Fi Kill onto your Android device, go ahead and start it and you'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to perform this attack because we will essentially be performing a deauthentication attack on the devices that are connected to the same access point that we are. So once you've connected to the access point, open up Wi-Fi Kill and you'll notice at the top you have what appears to be a play button. That will begin the scan to scan for all the devices that are on the access point. So here the device that I want to use is 192.168.0.10. So go ahead and select the device that you want to kill internet connection for and once you've selected it you will choose grab. Now we're going to be referring over to my victim machine which you look at the victim machine and I will show you that the IP address is 192.168.0.10 and I am connected to Hackspot. So I will go ahead and go to yahoo.com to show you that I do have internet connection and you'll notice here that it's showing the URL for yahoo.com on my Android device. It does some uh, form of packet sniffing but it doesn't get get too much data so you see here the internet is functioning so what you want to do to kill the internet access is slide the kill switch and we have just killed the internet access so I will go to Yahoo again and you see here no internet access so in order to put them back online flip the kill switch off and try that again and it's almost instantaneous so you can see there I have internet access again so if you were performing a fake AP attack you would connect to the hotspot that everybody else has already connected to and send the deauthentication attack to kick them all off and then you would broadcast your fake access point so they would hopefully connect to it so that's how it's done and it's all done from the convenience of your Android device